Hello L's, I was gone to Pennsylvania, AKA Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love for Valentine's Day. And it feels so good to be back here and filming with you all. And naturally, of course, I gotta share with you all the fragrances I took with me and wore, and especially the ones I wore on Valentine's Day. And y'all bonus, we got some elf mail that I also wanna share that came in right before I left. And oh, it's good. Can't wait to share it with you all. Let's get on into it. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Santa Maria here. Yes, you saw correctly. If you follow me on Instagram, you know this. I was going to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania for the week of Valentine's Day. Boy, it felt good to be back in the city. I haven't been back to Philadelphia in 11 years. And yeah, oh, I have missed it. The city is definitely special to me. Fun fact, I attended University of Pennsylvania for graduate school. So yes, that is why Pennsylvania and Philadelphia, the city most importantly, has a very special place in my heart. And it felt good to be back on campus and relive that and most importantly enjoy it with my husband yes the head elf so yeah now uh let's talk about the fragrances that i took with me most importantly and what i wore and y'all this elf mail wow very excited but as always lipstick of the day today everyone <sighs> I'm sad about this because I'm at the end of the road with this lipstick. This is the OG Riri Woo lipstick that came out uh, 11 years ago, I think. 12 years? No. 11, 12 years ago, something like that. It's down to a nub, y'all. I do have a backup, thankfully. This was the limited edition version that Rihanna collaborated with MAC years ago called Riri Woo. It's another take on Ruby Woo. So if you have Ruby Woo, you're good. You can just wear it there. And because I'm extra, I did put the limited edition gloss on top of it. And fun fact, this was the combination I wore for Valentine's Day. So if you were wondering, those that saw me on Instagram, this is what I had on. <laughs> Next up, we have fragrance of the day, and I wanted something kind of yummy, kind of gourmand today. So I went in with my Sniff Vanilla Vice fragrance. This is a new release, came out in January from the brand Sniff. I saw it sold out instantly, but it has since restocked, so yay that. And yeah, I will be giving my thoughts on Vanilla Vice very, very soon. So yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> basically I smell like vanilla ice cream right now. So there's that. So fragrance of the day is Vanilla Vice. And now let's get into this elf mail, y'all, because this box is big and I'm still in shock by what all was in here. So let's get into it. First and foremost, shout out to Elf Ursula. She has sent me Elf mail before in the past, but boy, she decided to be generous and bless your girl again with some more Elf mail. And I did not know this was coming. So, wow. So y'all, let me tell you what she sent me. So she watched my video in the past when I talked about Amouage and she knew how much I wanted this one in my collection. And boy, yeah, I'm very happy right now. She sent me Amouage material, you all. Yes, you all, the bottle. Yes, the bottle, get into it. So yes, your girl has Amouage material in her life. And I recently told y'all that I think this one is like my favorite ambery vanilla because it has other stuff going on with it. So very excited to have a bottle of Amouage material. Thank you. <laughs> and then she knows how much, again, I like my vanillas to have personality. And she's also seen that this is a favorite of mine. I actually have a full dedicated review up on this next fragrance, y'all. So she sent me a bottle of Nishane's Ani, y'all, yes. And if you know, I've talked about Ani before on the channel, you all. <laughs> And whew, yes, it has a full dedicated review already up. And yes, here we go, Nishane's Ani. This is a gingery vanilla. It's an extra de parfum. So definitely check out that dedicated review if you haven't already. Because yeah, hands down, before I knew about Amouage material, Ani was that girl and she been that girl. <laughs> so very happy to have another bottle of Ani. And let's see what she also sent me my favorite all time OG vanilla. And I've told y'all this before from the house of Dior, the OG bourbon vanilla. She sent me Dior Addict, you all. And oh, yes, mm. this scent makes me so happy. So very, very happy about this, y'all. And she sent me some other things in here too. She also sent me some samples. So this is an oil from Scents Angels. So thank you. Never tried anything from them. And then y'all check this out. She sent me some official samples from Galan, you all. Check these out. So we have Fave Gourmand, which I have definitely been wanting. Y'all know, oh, I'm just, yes. When I heard about the cacao note in it, yes. And then we have my baby, which is tobacco honey, which, whew. 
dedicated review needs to be up for you because um yeah it's coming soon just so y'all know wink wink it's coming soon so yes tobacco honey from green line very happy to have a sample size of it so therefore i have one to take in my purse and as always she sent me a personal card which you all know cards are personal i don't read them on camera but yeah i'm always happy to receive them so yeah um that is this edition of elf mail and boy is it amazing so again special shout out to elf ursula for sending this to me because you did not have to and you definitely blessed your girl <laughs> and now let's get into the fragrances that i took with me and i wore while i was in philadelphia so as always <laughs> I used one of the bags that in fact Elf Ursula sent me from the first time she sent me some Elf mail. So this is what I put my samples in. I took samples and decants, y'all. I'm getting better with that. So my luggage was definitely lighter. Yay, progress. And as always, here are my samples and I'm gonna go through them with you. So for my travel day scent, I wanted something that was kind of nice, kind of soft, but still giving me the life that I deserve because you know, it is Valentine's Day that I know I was heading out. So it was the day before Valentine's Day because we flew out on a Tuesday morning, like super early in the morning. <laughs> And I wore Amouage's Love Tuberose. So here is my sample of it. I kept it, but as y'all know, it got upgraded not too long after I got a sample of it. So here is what the full size bottle looks like. Again, Love Tuberose was my airplane scent and it was indeed pleasant. So I wore this, of course, while flying into Philadelphia, checking into the hotel and all what have you. I took a shower, took a nap, all those lovely good things. So that Love Tuberose essentially got me through the long morning that I had. Then that evening, of course, woke up, wanted to get something quick to eat or whatnot, nothing too crazy, something nearby. So I decided to wear a decant of a fragrance I don't have a full bottle of, and that decant was of Montal's Sensual Instinct. Y'all, let me tell you something. I walked into the restaurant because I actually had to go down there by myself first, and then eventually the head elf met me there, and we met for dinner, and y'all, let me tell you something. All of my serving staff and wait staff commented on this fragrance. And keep in mind, again, I'm minding my business, I'm by myself. I was not fishing for a compliment, so the fact that Sensual Instinct got a compliment on its own, I'm like, mm, maybe the decant needs to get upgraded to full-size bottle status. I know that for sure, you all, there's amber in here, there's some praline, and y'all, mm, just some rose, a little bit of coffee. This is a Montile. I see why it's considered a bestseller, which you all remember I did a review of their bestseller discovery set. And this one was my favorite one in the pack. And yeah, I think I need a full bottle of Sensual Instinct because it delivered and did what it needed to do. And most importantly, when I wasn't even checking for it to get a compliment, it got a compliment. So that's how I know it was good. <laughs> So again, that is Montal's Sensual Instinct. Let's talk about what I wore on actual Valentine's Day because I know that is show time, you all. So for Valentine's Day, I decided to branch out and wear something I've never worn before. This again was a sample sent to me from another elf, which I'm super gracious for. And you all, I wore Fev Gourmand by Guerlain, you all. So because of the fact this is my first time wearing this one, so for Fev Gourmand, I will go through the notes for it because it's online exclusive and I've heard nothing but rave reviews about the scent but i got to wear it for myself and i'm gonna tell you what i got from it in addition to the notes so they're supposed to be rose in here they're supposed to be cocoa accord they're supposed to be rum and spices and there's also a woody base of patchouli and there's some smoky tea as well in this scent and they also officially have on here that you know for all the speculation fave gourmand is the new name for gourmand coquine this is officially from guerlain so all the speculation about the scent can be put to rest yes this is that scent so let me tell you what i got from fave gourmand I got rose and chocolate is what this scent is. And I wore it during the daytime and I was actually walking about, moving in the city, getting about and what have you. I got a full wear of this scent and it was cold. Let me say that as well. It was cold in Philadelphia, y'all. Ooh, it was cold. In fact, it snowed when we flew in. So that's how you know it was actually cold. Y'all, this scent is beautiful. I understand the hype and this is for people that have been wanting a chocolate note in a scent that doesn't smell artificial. It just smells like grade a quality chocolatier type of chocolate put into a fragrance and i really enjoyed this i really enjoy this so i get the hype and i'm glad i have now two samples of fev gourmand because um i think fev gourmand might be getting an upgrade um yeah your girl's birthday is coming up soon yeah fev gourmand is birthday worthy mm -hmm. so i enjoy this as my daytime valentine's day scent for sure <laughs> So now let's talk about what I wore for Valentine's Day night. And because I had to really get ready, head elf had made us reservations at a lovely restaurant in Philadelphia when I was super excited and boy, y'all, wow, it was great. I ended up wearing red and black as my ensemble. 
And I just figured just because it was Valentine's Day, this fragrance was going to fit the mood and boy was I correct. So I took my decant of Killian's Rolling in Love. But of course you all know I have the full bottle now. So yes, Killian's Rolling in Love. I mean, look at the bottle y'all. It's red. It basically matches my background too, what have you. This was the perfect scent for Valentine's Day. And the reason I chose Rolling in Love is because I've worn this around the head off before and he loves this scent. He thinks it's beautiful. And in my opinion, the name Rolling in Love is our first Valentine's Day as a wedding couple. We were super excited about it and we spent it away out of town. So why not create a scent memory with it? So that is what we did. So Killian's Rolling in Love was Valentine's Day, AKA date night scent of the evening. And yes, it delivered. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> on Thursday, I knew I was going to be out in the city shopping and what have you. So I figured, uh, let me wear something that's an old faithful type of scent. Plus, I knew I would be doing some perfume shopping in the midst of that, which that is a video that will be coming soon. Not in this one, but yeah, I did some perfume shopping and whatnot. We'll discuss it. So I wanted something that's an old faithful scent that wasn't going to do too much. So I went in with Bond Number Nine's Greenwich Village. I had a purse size decan of it. It's actually still packed in my purse. Decant similar to this style, of course, but I just want to show you all the bottle. But yes, Bon Number 9's Greenwich Village was my girl about town. <laughs> it was that type of scent for me. You all know this one. Full dedicated review is already up on the channel. If I had a signature scent, it would be this. I've said that before in, in other videos and I still feel that way. There's Cassis in here. Ambrox and Praline. This is gorgeous. And in fact, once I'm done with this bottle, because I'm more than halfway finished with this, by the way, so yeah, the 100 mil gonna happen next. I'll tell y'all that right now. But yes, Greenwich Village was my scent of choice. Again, shopping, went to different coffee shops, and eventually finally made it over to my alma mater, which is University of Pennsylvania, AKA UPN. So yeah, this was the scent of choice. It took me through the day and into the night because we ended up having dinner and what have you. We just kept it going. So I went with Old Faithful, Bond Number Nine's Greenwich Village. And then on Friday, I wore another sample, you all. <laughs> it's still in my luggage actually, but alas, let me tell you about it. This is Miz and Sears trash share you all yes i talked about trash share in a sampling video in the past beautiful scent you all it's the perfect baby powder type of vanilla scent and i wore it as my travel scent as well as the daytime because we were we had a full day still in philadelphia on friday but then we didn't fly back to that evening so i was able to truly get a full wear test out of trash share people talk about this scent and say oh it doesn't last long it's too soft but i can still smell that scent and i had put it on that morning you know checking out a hotel grabbing lunch going to the airport, sitting, eating dinner, then flying back to Nashville, I can still smell that scent. So for me, I still got about a solid six hours out of Trace Share. So for me, I think Mason Sears Trace Share is full bottle worthy. And I think it's gorgeous. I think it's beautiful. And it was just gentle and feminine and just smelled like soft life. And I'm okay with it. Mm -hmm. So yes, Mason Sears Trace Share rounded things out. <laughs> As always, I did pack some additional samples that did not make the cut, but I'll tell you what they were anyway. So I did take my sample of Clean Reserves Skin, which you all can see this decant, AKA travel size is almost done. I do have the big bottle of Skin, which this is a staple as y'all can see. Wonderful for going to bed in, just my skin, but better. Like the name says, Clean Reserve Skin. So I did take that. I also took my sample of Commodity Milk's book, and this was the expressive version. I talked about Commodity book in a separate video when I did a full exploration of the brand so definitely check the video out if you haven't so yeah I took a commodity book with me and just in case we ended up out at like a lounge or a club <laughs> which anywho you know you just gotta be ready I did take my sample of bond number nine Chelsea Knights and of course you all know I have the full size bottle because this one has a cacao note in it so maybe I'm having a chocolate moment with fragrances hmm. it might be a thing but yes Bon Number Nine's Chelsea Knights was also taken with me. And then finally, gotta take a staple, gotta take a classic. I took my sample of Chanel's Coco Mademoiselle with me. And y'all know I do have a bottle of it. So those are the ones that didn't make the cut per se to get worn, but they did make the cut for us being taken with me. <laughs> So, all right, everyone, that wraps up this edition of Fragrances I Wore slash Chick With Me while in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Again, special shout out to Elf Ursula for sending me over the lovely package of Elf Mail. Very happy about that. <laughs> so, as always, let me know what you think. And also, what did you all wear for Valentine's Day? I told you all what I wear, but I want to know what you all wore. Definitely let me know in the comments below, and I will be reading them, as always. But yeah, your girl is back. And yes, some more content to come, as always. <laughs> I will catch you on the next video. Bye, y'all.